Welcome along to another Midlife Crisis Guys video and we are here in sunny, bright blue skied Utoxeter in Staffordshire. Okay, not quite true, it's a grey, murky, dismal uh, late February morning in 2018. And today I'm going to do something a little bit different. Um, I'm riding on tarmac. Yeah, I'm going to take a tarmac road. Uh, I'm just going to do a little sort of local, probably about 15, 16 mile circuit. But I want to take in somewhere a little bit special. Uh, somewhere quite explosive. But I will explain all. Let's go. used not difficult and um, my Google Maps is telling me to carry on to Tutbury and then you kind of towards Tutbury I should say and then turn right um, I mean the trouble is where we're going is in the middle of nowhere literally it really is there's no roads nearby but I've heard people say that if I was to go towards Hanbury to a public house called the Cock Inn and from the car park there we can then access where we're going so trouble is with that it's a nice steep hill. But you know what, we like a challenge. Bloody hell, steep hill. No oh shit. This land is private property belonging to the Ministry of Defence. The land contains an unexploded bombs and in the event of an explosion into your death could be caused to persons on the land. In the interest of safety, therefore, members of the public are warned, do not enter the land under any circumstances. We're at a place called Fold. Um, Fold, uh, this is called Fold Crater and it is the site of one of the largest explosions ever. Um, which isn't nuclear. 
massive explosion. Let me explain. And it was an ideal site, they reckon, to store munitions for World War II. So um, huge incendiary devices, explosives, bombs, munitions for the war effort were stored here in all the uh, underground uh, mines. An Italian prisoner of war was working in there, was um, hammering one of the bombs. Now that sounds ridiculous, but they were like, obviously, obviously normally have to do that. Don't know what they're doing to it. But he was using a metal hammer rather than a wooden hammer. It should have been a wooden hammer. The metal hammer consequently caused a spark. This is all allegedly because obviously no one really knows what happened because anyone that was pretty close to it ain't here anymore. It caused the biggest explosion. Uh, apparently you could hear the explosion in uh, London. Obviously we're up in Staffordshire. We're in, uh, for those that don't know, Fold, we are close to Utoxeter, which is where I live. Um, in between Derby and Stoke in the Midlands, not far from Burton-on-Trent, just to give you uh, a little guide as to exactly where we are. Um, now, this explosion was enormous. Um, they reckon uh, about 70 people died. Obviously, uh, those in the close proximity uh, wouldn't have known much about it, I don't think. <laughs> it's going to be a hell of a bang. But anyway, consequently, it has left a crater, which is about three quarters of a mile in circumference, and very, very deep as well. And I'll put some more details. That I don't know them off the top of my head, but it is huge. And that is the reason we are here, because I thought, wow, this is quite an historical place, really. What a, you know, what an event. And it's on my doorstep. Bloody took me a while to find it. <laughs> the size of this place, you'd think I'd find it nice and easily. I've been told when I came here not to expect much. You don't really get uh, much of a scale of what went on here, you know, the size of the explosion and what's left. I've just come round a bend. There's signs there saying sheer drop. And I thought, yeah, you know, they have to have these safety things. I've just come round this bend. Look at this. Now that gives you some kind of scale. If you can see over there, I'm hopefully I'm going to do the whole circumference of the crater. But that is quite deep down there. Interrupted view really and I believe I was just stood over there with the previous footage but you can actually see now
been absolutely fascinating, really enjoyed it. So I'm back on the main road now, so back to boring tarmac. I'll stop doing that when I say the word tarmac. nice little loop that um, really enjoyed the ride thanks so much for watching hope you enjoyed it too uh, give us a like really appreciate a like if you've enjoyed the video and obviously if you uh, would like to subscribe and see any more adventures I'd really appreciate it It'd be great to have you along thanks for watching see you soon bye bye